Um. All right. Today. That was loud. We're going to review a race car. The little race car that could. favorite part about this car are the harnesses. Well, maybe this isn't working out as well as I wanted it to. I literally am not going anywhere. This is the best thing in the world. So today I'm going to be reviewing Caleb's Mini Cooper, his uh, 2005 R53 Mini Cooper S. And as a lot of you guys know, it is the supercharged 1.6 liter. The R56 version has the turbocharger. As much as I like turbos, this thing is, I've driven this thing for a little while today and this thing just is perfect. I love this car. Um, and I know my first review, I, uh, a lot of people wanted to know the significance and like the difference, you know, in the clutch and stuff like that. This car's got a pretty s stiff clutch. But you get used to it. Man, I love it. I love it. It's a little motor, so I mean, I mean, obviously these cars are not fast, but who cares? This is like, I mean, I have fallen go-karts all the time. That's basically, <laughs> that's a terrible, but this is basically what this car is. So first impressions are, well, I love it because I'm a huge fan of hatchbacks. So this car being as open as it is, and having as much room as it does is incredible, especially because it's such a small car. I mean, you can literally, I mean, it doesn't have much room in the very back, but it's got space for people to sit back there. Not a lot. You might have to be, you might have to have no legs, but I mean, you can sit back there. <laughs> oh man, but the gearbox is nice. I love this car and I feel like I'm driving a spaceship. Just look at the interior of this thing and it's just, awesome you got your window controls you got the locking everything is a switch so it's literally like i'm driving a spaceship a whiny spaceship one of my favorite thing about minis has always been the way the tack and the speedometer uh, have been set up so the tachometer is right in front of me it's just this little gauge that pops out at me and the speedometer is this giant circular thing just right in the middle of the car which, I mean, I think is awesome. For some reason, I've just always had a weakness for, for Mini Coopers, especially the R53s, because I have always been a huge fan of the movie Italian Job. If you haven't seen the Italian Job, well, that's kind of sad, and you make me feel a little bit old, but it was a movie that came out in 2003 that uh, they used Mini Coopers to transport the loot that they were stealing from. But um, it's awesome, it's an action movie. I encourage everyone to see that. But that's not what I'm reviewing today. Ever since then, it's just like, the first time I watched that, I was like, man, these cars are actually a lot more awesome than a lot of people think. So they're just, they're basically little mini race cars. So to move on to performance, Caleb has done a few things, uh, not a lot to the motor or anything like that, but so far, he put a smaller pulley on the supercharger, gives you a little bit more power, and he has a three inch custom Borla exhaust. That's about it. And it makes a really, really pretty, pretty sound. And it doesn't drone a whole lot, which is really cool. And then he's got this custom Mini Cooper right there Velcro to his dash. And that's the most amazing part about this car, I think. That's actually a lie. The most amazing part about this car is the fact that it literally is a friggin' go-kart. And I haven't gotten to many turns yet, and I will get to that here in a minute. Speaking of turns, we're gonna talk about suspension, which Personally, my favorite modifications you can do to a car are tires and suspension. As much as I love going fast and going in a straight line, which of course you still have to do suspension uh, and stuff like that, but 
I just have a weakness for being able to just go as fast as I possibly can with pulling as many G's and turning as sharply as I can without losing traction. So he's got Hankook V12s, which actually I had on my STI for a long time. They're very good tires, very grippy tires. He's got those uh, stock wheels, but they're painted and they look really good, I might say. He's got lowering springs, and then he's also got front strut towers, which uh, you saw it in the panning shot of the motor. And then aside from that, he's also got uh, upgraded sway bars. So, I mean, this thing is this thing is set up for, for autocross and for racing. And it does just that. It does a very good job of that, actually. Man, I'm all in the throttle right now and just doing these amazing turns. It's like fourth gear pull and it's supercharged. So, you know, of course you got power, instant power, whenever I want. And it just doesn't, there's this car, even though it's front wheel drive, I mean, there's no weight to this car. It's not like it's got to lug around a bunch of crap and, and weight back there. I mean, it's like you, you basically just have power and traction in the front and the back just does whatever the heck you want it to do. I've driven some powerful cars and I grew up racing. So, I mean, I, I've driven a lot of different things and I've gone very fast before. A car does not have to be fast to have fun in it. Granted, you can still, in the same sense, you can still have fun in a, uh, in a rear wheel drive car that's got a thousand horsepower just because, well, it's a whole different feeling. You're sucked into the back of the seat instead of the side of the car and the other side. <laughs> it's incredible to me the drivability of this car. I mean, I'm, not, I'm just going through these back roads barely having to tap the brakes. It's funny, it's front wheel drive, but I've got a little bit of oversteer right there. It's got good brakes, they're stock brakes, so that's really awesome. I'm sitting here just like flooring it every once in a while. I've, like I said, I barely use the brakes, but when I do need to, it, it stops. I love the gearbox too, man. This is just, the gearbox is extremely easy. That was the first thing I noticed whenever I started driving this car. The clutch is a little stiff, but you know, while that's true, at the same time, it's like it just goes, it, it, it just goes perfectly with the gearbox that it comes with. So, oh yes, oh yeah. Man, that was nice. Windows engage. I could do this all day long. I could literally sit here on the back road and just, just do this. This is so much fun. This truly is a little race car that could. And you know, I'm not saying that if this car had 100 more horsepower, it wouldn't be fun. Because, wow, that, that would be fun. This car is so equally balanced, which is everything you can ask for in a car. It's, this car is so equally balanced and yoked. It's like, you just forget about everything else. Now that I've driven it like a race car, I'm probably still gonna drive it like a race car. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the drivability and the usability because the whole thing about having a car like this is, you know, it can be fast, it can corner really well, but a lot of the times you sacrifice, you know, comfortability and, and just the daily driving experience. As much as it is really fun to have a car that feels and drives and sounds like a race car, it, it really does, at times, it really kind of does suck to not be able to enjoy your daily driving experience. I, I see nothing really wrong with this car at all, actually, in terms of that. So, like I said, the gearbox is really easy. There's, this car is not quirky by any means. It's very easy to shift. The clutch is extremely easy to get used to, far easier than some of the clutches that I've used. You can clearly see the tack and the speedometer, and it's got these nice lights. I mean, everything is, especially for a 10-year-old car, I mean, everything is very usable. It's very comfortable to drive. I mean, these, you know, these seats are, I mean, they're just, they're seats, whatever. They're not, it's not a Bentley, you know, you're not gonna be like, oh yeah, these seats are amazing. Like, it's not gonna be like that. But this car is a very drivable car. And that is what counts to me. Like every car, I mean, there's, there's things that, 
you like and dislike and some things that you'll get tired of and it really like I can't sit here and complain about anything as much as I want to this car is just fun not to mention it has a sunroof like I started the video off with it's very spacious uh, the the mirrors and everything like that um, they're all very I don't know everything is clear uh, the rear view is large and it's actually got light dimming which is really cool I just noticed that usually cars of this era didn't have that and that's just a really cool option and it's got this entire panoramic sunroof and a moonroof back there um, you know it really is just a cool car that's that is my that I mean this is a fun car to drive can't sit here and say anything else now downside is yeah it's supercharged and what Caleb was telling me was oh hold up yes uh, Caleb was telling me in the summer it kind of sucks because uh, the belt and everything all the air conditioning mechanics is attached to the supercharger so you sacrifice a lot of power but if you drive a boosted car you kind of have to be used to that it that's just how it works now the more and more I look at these rear seats it's just like those things just need to come out I just see I see untapped potential of a race car in this car you just put a an, an entire roll cage put an entire roll cage take out the rear seats boom race car but doesn't have a lot of room in the back which is to be expected in a car like this but the fact that you have so much leg room up here in the front you have good seats that will keep you in the seat and the fact that you have such cheap easy upgrades in this car is awesome easy as that and it definitely stops really quickly I like that so Thanks to Caleb for letting me take his little, uh, the little race car that could, the, the one that's all rallied up with stickers. In fact, he's actually going on the gumball rally with me and the Arkansas gumball rally uh, in May. So that's really cool. It's gonna have more rally stickers, just like my car will have. So anyways, as I was trying to get to before, that concludes this video. Thank you again so much, Caleb, for letting me use your car and drive the heck out of it uh, for this, because this really has been a, an extremely fun experience. It's awesome. This is a little race car, and I have a great appreciation for that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little review. Um, if you have any questions or you have any recommendations on any type of car, any certain car you want to see me review, uh, feel free to let me know in the comment section. I'm always up to uh, seeing anybody's opinion. Um, I've got a few more uh, incoming. In fact, I've got a couple really good ones incoming and I've actually got another mini on the way after this one so thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button because I have got more reviews coming and then I not only do reviews I do how to's I do vlogs I do a lot of stuff I really do whatever the heck you guys want me to do unless it's weird but then again that's also debatable because I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty weird as long as it's race car stuff, that's it. But I'm taking way too long to do this. I'm terrible at outros. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And if there's anything that I didn't cover that you want to know, I've got resources to either ask or I already know it. I might have forgot to cover it or something like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Peace.